Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video series, we, we shall see previous year's questions of CSIR UGC net exam of the subject abstract algebra, right? So uh, in this current video, we'll uh, look at question from June 2013 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question says, which among the following four polynomials are irreducible over the given ring or fields? Right, so we need to suggest uh, which of these is irreducible. So let us get started. The first polynomial is a polynomial of degree 5 and we need to check it over the field of rational numbers, right? So uh, we have a result called Eisenstein's criteria. Please make sure that this is not Einstein's criteria but this is Eisenstein's criteria which says that if you have any polynomial a0 plus a1x plus up to an x raised to power n, right, this is some polynomial and uh, here p is some prime number such that p square does not divide the constant term and p divides all the other terms except this last term which is the coefficient of x to the power n, then in that case we say fx is irreducible over q. For a detailed discussion about this result, you can see the description in the, uh, the link given in the description below, right? As of now, we just write this polynomial in uh, this form, right? Which is equivalent, which is uh, somewhat in this form. That is, we write the constant term first, then the terms accordingly, right? So now can you think of some a prime, prime number which can uh, satisfy these conditions. Yes, we have a prime number 3 where p square that is 9 does not divide this constant term. Then the prime number 3 divides 9, this 3 divides 0, this 3 divides 3 and this 3 does not divide the last coefficient that is 1, right? So all the conditions of this test Eisenstein's criteria is fulfilled therefore this is irreducible over q so our option a is correct as of now so let us look at the second option we are given a polynomial of order of degree 3 right and we need to check whether this is irreducible over the ring of integers modulo 7 right so now you must have also studied studied this result that uh, whenever we need to check the reducibility or irreducibility of the polynomial of degree 2 or 3, then in that case we say that this polynomial is reducible if and only if it has a 0 in the given field that we are checking, right? So if we find a 0 or the root, then we say it is reducible, otherwise not. So let us look at our polynomial and the given uh, field. The given field, this is z mod 7z, right? So integer modulo 7 and the polynomial is x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1. So now what is this field? This set contains all the remainders which are obtained when any integer, any integer number is divided by 7. So when you divide anything by 7, either uh, you will get the remainder as 0 when it is completely divisible by 7 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So there are 7 classes under which all the elements go in, right? And we need to check a root. So clearly the root should come from this field only, right? So let us check it one by one. So let us call the polynomial as f of x. So we'll check f of 0. So in place of x, we'll substitute 0. So 0 cube plus 2 into 0 square plus 0 plus 1, which is 1 and which is equal, not equal to 0 mod 7. That means when you divide this 1 by 7, you'll get the remainder as 1 only, right? And not 0. Therefore, this is not a root. Let us check for 1. 1 cube plus 2 into 1 square plus 1 plus 1 which comes out to be 5 again when you divide this 5 by 7 you will get the remainder as 5 only and not 0 therefore this is also not a root again we'll check for 2 for 2 it comes out to be 19 now you divide when you divide 19 by 7 you will get 5 as the remainder because 
we know seven into two is fourteen, so basically nineteen minus fourteen is five. So this is also not equal to zero mod seven. So this is also not a root, right? Again, we check for uh, f of three. So three cube plus two into three square plus three plus one that comes out to be forty nine. Now this forty nine com is completely divisible by seven. Therefore, we have zero over here. Hence, we conclude that three is a root of this polynomial in the given field. Therefore, if this is so, we found a root. So by the above result, we say that this polynomial is reducible over z seven. Hence, it is not irreducible. That means this option is incorrect because we have been asked for only the irreducible polynomials, but this polynomial is reducible over this field. Now, let's uh, look at the third polynomial. It is again of degree three, right? Again, we can use the same result, but now the uh, uh, the ring is given to be that of integers therefore we must find any root of this polynomial which is an integer so by hit and trial you can see that minus 1 is a root for this polynomial so when you plug minus 1 into it you will get zero simply therefore x is equal to minus 1 is a root or in other words you can say that x minus minus 1 that is x plus 1 is a factor moreover you can also see that you can also factorize this polynomial so this is reducible right using the above result this is one way another way is you could factorize this one right you can take x square common from the first two terms so you will be left with x plus 1 and plus 1 x plus 1 so you'll see you can factor this as x square plus 1 and x plus 1 so this polynomial is clearly reducible right and uh, now let us therefore th uh, this is reducible so we also rule out this option c is not the correct option let us now look at fourth option which has degree 4 right and we need to check it over the ring of integers so uh, now this is given to us now you should know that If p is prime number, there is a result that uh, a polynomial of this kind, one plus x plus x square plus up to how many times? Um, not how many times? X to the power p minus one, where p is the prime, right? So you take a power one less than the given prime. In that case, this is irreducible polynomial. This is the result, and you must know this. So here you see that the prime is five. So the, therefore, we write this polynomial as one plus x plus x square plus x raised to power three plus x raised to power four. Up to four will write because we have p minus one over here. Therefore, by this result, this polynomial is irreducible over integers, right? So this is the correct option. Option D is the correct option, right? Now note here that this polynomial is also in this form, but this result is not applicable over here because the prime the p here would be 4 and this is not a prime number therefore we cannot apply the same result on to this uh, polynomial because the p here is not prime therefore the only correct options are option a and option d well that is it for this video thank you for watching